Welcome to the spoken tutorial on cross cradle hold for breastfeeding. In this tutorial, we will learn about choosing the correct breastfeeding hold for a mother and her baby, mother's preparation before breastfeeding, and step by step procedure for cross cradle hold. Let us begin. Across the world, mothers breastfeed their babies using various types of holds. The best breastfeeding hold for a mother and her baby is the one in which both mother and baby are comfortable for the entire duration of breastfeeding, the baby is able to attach deeply to the mother's breast and get sufficient milk. Let us learn about one of the holds called cross cradle hold. Cross cradle hold is the best hold to have full control of baby's body breast support and deep latching. Before feeding her baby, the mother must wash and dry her hands properly. Then, she should drink a glass of boiled and cooled water. Lactating mothers produce 750 to 850 milliliters of milk per day on an average. Therefore, they need to increase their daily water intake. Next, let's discuss the position of the mother. Mother should sit on the floor or on the bed in cross-legged position or on a chair with her feet flat on the ground. If the chair is too high and her feet do not reach the floor, then she can rest her feet flat on a small stool or pillows kept on the floor. While sitting, she should ensure that her back is straight so as to avoid back pain. Her shoulders are relaxed and not elevated or curved and this relaxed position is maintained throughout the feeding session. Mother should uncover the breast from which she wants to feed the baby. She should ensure not to put pressure of her bra or blouse on the breast. After sitting comfortably, bring the baby to the mother. Mother should hold her baby's head with the hand opposite to the breast that she will feed from. The baby's legs should be tucked under the mother's armpit of the same hand. The mother in this picture will be feeding her baby from her right breast. Therefore, the baby's legs are tucked under her left armpit. She is using the thumb and fingers of her left hand to hold the lower part of her baby's head. If the mother wants additional support to lift the baby, she can keep a pillow under the baby on her lap. Remember, the mother should never bring the breast to the baby by bending her back. This will make her uncomfortable and cause back pain. She should always keep her back straight and elevate the baby to reach her breast. Next, let us see the correct position of mother's thumb and fingers. Mother's thumb should be behind one ear and rest of the fingers behind the other ear of the baby. She should not move her fingers or thumb from behind the ear to the baby's neck. Her wrist should rest between the baby's shoulder blades. She should not apply pressure on the back of the baby's head with her hand. This will keep the baby comfortable while feeding. Next, let us learn how to position baby's body correctly. The baby's stomach should gently press against the mother's body. Lesser distance between their bodies will reduce the baby's effort to reach the breast and it will become easier for the baby to attach deeply. The second point in positioning is the baby's body alignment. When we eat food, our head, neck and body are always in a straight line. But while breastfeeding, the baby's head is often turned sideways by many mothers. This will make feeding uncomfortable for the baby. Baby's head, neck and body should always be in a straight line while breastfeeding. 
This will make swallowing milk easier for the baby. Now we come to the third point in positioning the baby's body. The mother should support the full body of her baby. Otherwise, the baby will have to take a lot of effort to attach deeply to the breast. Next, let's look at the position of the baby's nose and chin. Baby's nose should be in line with the nipple. And her chin should be forward and very close to the breast. This will ensure that the baby takes in more of the lower part of the areola while latching and therefore will use the lower jaw to drink more milk efficiently. Please note, areola is the dark area around the nipple. Now that the baby is positioned correctly, let us learn how to hold the breast. Using the fingers of her other hand, the mother should cup her breast underneath in a U-shape hold. The mother in this picture will use her right hand to hold her right breast. To understand the correct position of thumb and fingers, imagine the nipple to be the center of a clock on the mother's right breast. Mother should place her right thumb at 9 o'clock position on this clock. while her right index finger and middle finger should be placed at 3 o'clock position. The fingers should always be parallel to the baby's lips. Why? Let's understand this using a simple example. When we eat a vada pav or burger, our mouth and lips open horizontally. We hold the vada pav or burger horizontally to take a big bite. Here, the thumb and fingers are placed parallel to the lips. If we hold the vada pav or burger vertically, we won't be able to take a big bite. Similarly, observe the direction of the baby's lips. The lips are vertical here. Therefore, the fingers and thumb should also be positioned vertically on the breast. This will help the baby to take a big part of the areola in her mouth. Apart from being parallel to the baby's lips, mother's thumb and fingers should always be at a distance of three fingers from the nipple. Again, while eating a vada pav or burger, if we hold it too close, our fingers will block our mouth from taking a big bite. If we hold it too far away, it will not be shaped correctly to fit in our mouth. Therefore, we hold it at the right distance to take a big bite. Similarly for the baby, the right distance is of three fingers from the nipple as shown in this picture. This distance will ensure that mother's fingers do not block the baby from taking a big part of the areola in her mouth. Mother does not compress only the nipple which will give very little milk. Mother compresses the larger milk ducts beneath the areola to express more milk out. And the breast is shaped correctly to help the baby attach deeply. Mother's thumb should be three fingers away from the nipple on the side of the breast where the baby's nose is present. And her two fingers should be at a distance of three fingers from the nipple on the side of the breast where the baby's chin is present. Let's go back to the example of vada pav or burger. After holding the vada pav or burger correctly, we always compress it to take a big bite. Similarly, the mother should lightly compress her breast in a U-shape hold from the bottom. This will help the baby to take a big part of the breast in her mouth. But remember, mother should not compress her breast in a V-shape. V-shape compression will pinch the breast and cause nipple feeding. Also make sure that there is equal compression of the breast with the thumb and the fingers. Otherwise, the nipple will shift either to the right or to the left side and lead to poor attachment. Remember, 
never bring the breast to the baby by pushing it sideways towards the baby. Always bring the baby to the breast. Now the baby is in cross cradle hold and ready to latch on for breastfeeding. The correct latching technique is explained in another tutorial in the same series. Once the baby is latched on correctly and if the breast is not too heavy then mother should release her breast from her hand and bring her hand underneath the baby for support. In this position, mother should bring both her arms very close to her body. This will keep her comfortable during breastfeeding. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.